Hi, if you've gotten this far, you've probably watched all the frequently asked questions stuff, which is good, but we're behind the scenes here at the firm because we want to give you the real inside scoop. These are the should ask questions. These are the questions that even our savviest clients don't know to ask. But we know as lawyers that focus our practice on trusted estates planning and do a lot of work for sophisticated families, the stuff that you don't know to ask, and that's what we're going to do right now. Here's a question people ask me. Is 10 years too long to wait to redo my will? That's a kind of frequently asked question, and we all know the answer to that. Yeah, it's probably too long to wait. Why? Well, one, that's an awful long time to, for a lawyer to wait to rebuild their client. And if you're laughing, that's a good sign because I do get clients laughing about the uh, fee issues. The real point here is this. There's no set time limit. Things can happen in your life, especially if you're a sophisticated family with sophisticated assets, especially if you have a family business or you have an expensive home or a vacation home, uh, especially if you're thinking about buying life insurance or you may receive an inheritance. So let's take a minute and talk about the changes that could take place in your life that require you to make changes in your estate planning, whether it's been six months or seven years. One, you receive an inheritance, important to talk to the estate planning attorneys, they may have made certain assumptions. And by the way, when you receive an inheritance, if your estate's a lot larger, you may make different decisions about when kids get money and who's managing it. The next thing is you decide to buy life insurance. Life insurance is taxable for federal estate tax purposes unless you own it in an insurance trust or take certain other measures. Very important, it can double the value of that life insurance to do it the right way. So you're getting an inheritance you're thinking about buying life insurance, two good reasons to talk to your estate planning advisors. Another reason, a change in a marital relationship, either of your own marriage or of children or grandchildren. The, all the rules may change when that happens. So when there's a change in a marital relationship, don't wait until a divorce is over to deal with it. See the advisors at the time. It's really important to make changes. And there's a lot that you could do that you may not otherwise have known. If you move from one state to another or one country to another, the situs of the trust that you've set up under your wills or your revocable trust may no longer make sense. A change in your own health or the health of somebody who is an executor or trustee under your will. Very important to deal with that promptly. So you could see there's a list of things that make it important for you to see your estate planning advisor and to determine if your estate planning documents still work. What's another big one? One that we're all facing right now are constant changes in inheritance tax laws at the state level and federal estate tax laws. It's hard to keep up. So make sure that you hire an advisor that's going to keep you advised of the changes that are taking place. And if they don't, contact them periodically, make sure you're not gonna get a bill for doing it, and find out, do my estate planning documents still work? It's easy to do, you put it in your Outlook calendar, you mark it on your paper calendar at the end of the year, it's easy to stay up to date, and it's vitally important if you're a family that has sophisticated estate planning needs. Thank you. If you liked that video, if you enjoyed it, if you found value in it, if it gave you information you didn't know about before, then you're gonna to wanna to see the other videos. We have some of the most frequently asked questions that clients ask lawyers on the topic of sophisticated estate planning and estate planning for families that have family-owned businesses and family-owned vacation homes. If you'd like a lot more, including the questions that you should be asking and maybe don't even know to ask, but that we as lawyers know you should be asking, then just sign up, Click on the link below and we're going to send you a ton more videos, frequently asked questions that you need to know the answers to to succeed as a family in your sophisticated estate planning, and maybe more importantly, the should ask questions, the questions that you don't even know that you should be asking. Thanks again. Click on that link and enjoy.